Today is the day that I conquer my messy bookshelves, which is a monstrosity right now because not only are they at full capacity, which is relatable, <laughs> I kind of want to move things around and get ready for all the fall releases coming out soon. So here's what they currently look like. I even have extra shelf inserts to make even more room because, I mean, look at these gaps. Like, more books can fit in here. So that is my first priority for the next couple days. The second priority is to read whatever book is inside the August Shelf Love Crate. Wow, my shelves are a hot mess. I mean, I even have YA beside me right now. Things are not looking good. So I have partnered with Shelf Love Crate for this vlog and I have partnered with them in my previous two vlogs, which I'll link down below for you, where I read whatever book is inside the box. And you can use my code HOLLY10 on your right for subscription. I'm not sure when that expires. I'm going to assume the end of this month. So get on that. I actually already know what the um, book of the month is because they announced it, but just in case you don't know I'm gonna keep it a secret so the theme for this box was um, take flight and of course we have to start with the chess pieces that they have in every box I'm so disappointed in you shelf love crate this is freaking Rowan who I despise with a passion mm. okay I can get behind the second character so I believe this is resand uh, no, I'm not giving you a close-up of Rowan. Freaking cutie. And then we have a enamel pin by Laser Brain Patch Co. Six of Crows, Ketterdam. And that's what it looks like. It's super pretty. It's like a cityscape. We have a tote bag, like a drawstring tote bag. And it says, I'll post service. Do not feed owls, minister decree. That is hilarious. So obviously... Uh, Harry Potter. This is totally random, but I love this leather detailing in the corners. I love that. Let's just put this on like I'm freaking 16 again. Yeah. Up next, we have a bookmark that is inspired by the Raven Boys, which looks like that. Oh, this is so cool. So we have a, a keychain. Oh my goodness, she is so pretty and the back as well so it's double-sided which is so fancy I'm just gonna put you through my gauge because I live life dangerously oh yeah look how cool I am never mind Ooh, up next we have a book sleeve you can keep the glory I'm just here for the blood wait a second what is this from? This is from Never Night, which I haven't read. I know I'm a horrible person. Give me a thick paperback, please. Thick, thick ass paperback. The true test, Leviathan Wakes. Oh yeah, oh wait, oh yeah. <laughs> Look at that. And we have come to the book, which is The Merciful Crow by Margaret Owen. Now, <laughs> I've really been struggling with YA. I have not read a good YA book in such a long time. And I, I am hopeful. I feel like this is going to change everything. Because it's so freaking pretty, it better be good because I don't want to unhaul this. <laughs> Look at it, it's so pretty. Oh, please be good. We have like a unique looking magic system. So this comes with a signed book plate. And also the final item is a bookmark with the theme art on it which I love so that is everything in the August box and it looks like I'll be reading the merciful crow for the next day or two but today we have other priorities which is this mess <laughs> you know I totally forgot to tell you what this book was about but that's okay because I read the first chapter which means I can tell you my thoughts I have one negative thing and one positive thing um, first off this book is very stylized the writing style is kind of gothic and macabre and it kind of reminds me of Shakespeare which is really really hard to get used to I'm hoping that I get used to it because right now it's kind of like jaunting and the way the first chapter ended was so intriguing so in this world when a kingdom is touched by the plague they call on the crows who professionally dispose of the bodies that were plagued so that it doesn't spread and these crows are so spooky um they kind of 
look like plague doctors. They wear like the mask with the beak, so which is why they are called the crows. But there's a very specific way on how to dispose of them. And this kingdom hasn't been touched by the plague in over 500 years. So it's very weird that this occurrence is happening. So um, the crows dispatch of the bodies and they find out that one of the bodies is very, very important to the royal court. I am very excited to go on and I hope it kind of, it keeps up with this creepiness. It's time and I'm trying to perfect this angle. Okay, I'm just gonna like take you off. So here are the three shelves on this wall. And I have a YA middle grade shelf on the other side. This set of YA books here used to be up there, but I kind of wanna try and fit them on the YA shelf, which is why they're there currently. Now, here's the plan, okay? So I wanted to make this shelf my short paperback shelf, but I honestly don't think that looks good over there because this shelf is going to have four shelves, one, two, three, four, and then three, three. I don't like that. I would rather three, four, three, like kind of alternating. This one is kind of like the odd one out. Don't like it. So it's going to be a lot of work drilling more holes on this shelf, but it's going to look so much better. My hair is even half up because it's gonna get sweaty. So these YA books I'm going to deal with first. Oh, mommy. Welcome to the tall YA hardcover section where I need to fit all of these books on the shelf that's already full. <laughs> which means I need to make a sideways stack, which I freaking hate having sideways stacks on my shelves. Like that freaking stack right there. Are these gonna fit? Nope, they're not gonna fit. You'll fit. Uh, no, you're not fitting. I think I'm gonna take down these bookmark things that I have because they just get in the way all the time. So you are going. Oh, that's kind of satisfying. I should mention that I will be doing a bookshelf tour next video, I think. This shelf next. are freaking like 10 pounds a piece now I will be honest um I had a really hard time deciding on moving Joe Abercrombie from the middle shelf because he has made this shelf right here home okay Joe Abercrombie your spot has been made you know when you're organizing your shelves and you see all of your books stacked all over your room and you begin to regret things? I'm feeling that regret. But this is going to give me so much more shelf space. Oh my goodness. It's going to be like getting a new bookshelf, but not actually getting a new bookshelf. Because me smart. And now this is where the extra shelf comes in, right up here. So this can go here. So now there's four bookshelves here, which is awesome. 
Books of Babel, The Wolf and the Whale, Stephen King. I guess I could put The Red Knight. Oh god, I'm losing it. Oof, no, 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 no. This needs to go up above. See, I'm very particular because these short paperbacks from Orbit, and then we have like these shorter paperbacks which aren't mass market they're not that small but if you put them together you can see the size is a little different and that bothers me so these extra short books which again they're not mass market um actually here this is mass market and see not not exactly there You see, those bookmarks that I had right here would have been so annoying right now, so I'm glad I tore them down. I'm not throwing them away, but I just didn't want them hanging right in front of the books. Okay, so I have, hello, I'm down here. <laughs> I have more shorter paperbacks, but they're sci-fi. I do have a sci-fi shelf right now, I'll show you. So this is my sci-fi shelf, but I think I'm going to split them all apart because I am going to have like a tall paperback shelf a tall hardcover shelf so these can go up there okay so I'm going to take a really short break and actually read a little bit more of the merciful crow but this is what I have so far so this middle shelf is going to be the short paperback shelf and then tall paperback hardcovers tall paperback hardcovers I just realized I forgot to take down this bookmark assembly so let's do that Mm, right now oh my god I know where I can put these two oh shoot there's one in the middle eh, look at this massacre there's so many kind of satisfying to hear the sound okay enough of that what I'm actually going to do is I'm gonna store them in here in this little tin case Hopefully they all fit. Actually, hold on. This needs to be strategized. So maybe the big ones at the bottom. <gasps> Straggler! No one will know where I hid the bodies. Yes, I'm on the floor. Sometimes I want to read on the floor. But I got to page 100 and the Merciful Crow. But I have such mixed feelings about it. That first chapter was really good. It really intrigued me. So far, I don't care for the characters right now, and I can like, I can definitely feel like that, those typical YA tropes. And I have, guys, I have nothing against YA. YA is the genre that got me into reading. I hated to read before, and YA got me to where I am, but I've just, you know, realized the books I actually do like. And I haven't gotten used to the writing, like even though I'm already on page 100, I feel like it's taking me a long time to get there and I'm having to read the words very, very slowly. The author explains things so weird and it's just like really hard to get used to. I want to love this so freaking bad because I love the aesthetic of it. But right now, it's a love-hate relationship. Anyways, we're continuing on with this. It's currently 3 p.m., so I have the whole evening to finish The Merciful Crow and finish my bookshelves. I am going to work on this shelf next because you see it in my videos. So I want to put the books that I'm like really excited about right here and then the bookshelf all the way to the right. I struggle so hard with this shelf right here. It always ends up being a mess and unorganized. I totally forgot about this stack of YA as well. Oh my god, I'm a sweaty mess. So that means John Gwen, Sam Sykes, some sci-fi I have. So now we have the tall sci-fi. This is what we have so far. I like really hate those mass market paperbacks right there but mm, oh well so as you guys can tell I like to organize my books by size and then we get to this mess which I don't know what to do with right now 
I don't have enough books. Is, is that like a possible problem a reader to have? Not enough books? I don't know. Never heard of such a thing, to be honest. I guess that's it, right? I mean, other than like the messy ornaments. I have a lot of room for books. When I was at full capacity, adding just two new shelf inserts left me more space. I need to go shopping. Want to come with me? I totally forgot about this stack of books again, but thankfully I have a whole empty shelf right here. So I'm just going to pile them on. I think this is it. I'm feeling pretty good about this. I might switch some books around over here because you'll really see these two shelves right here in my videos. But I mean, look at that space. And even up here, there's like plenty of room for books up there. I like. So I got to page 220, I think. Yes, 220. And um, it's pretty late, so I think I'm going to have to finish this tomorrow, which is okay. This will be a two-day vlog, but um, it definitely got better. I'm liking the characters a little more, but it's still very tropey. But so far, it's hovering like a three-star, I think. Yeah, like a 3.25, I think. So it's enjoyable, but I'll see you tomorrow. Good morning, everybody. So um, I'm not going to fill my face because <laughs> I look like mess but I think this video is long enough it's probably way too long because of the bookshelf organization so I think my plans today are just going to finish the merciful crow and I'll come back with a review for you so I just finished The Merciful Crow and I am so conflicted. So overall this is a good read but some parts of it definitely fell flat for me. Um, one of my biggest complaints is that the mechanics of the magic system isn't explained very clearly. The author is having to constantly repeat um, what all of these like 12 magical groups can do. Yes, 12 different types of magic that you have to keep track of and it's called like the cast magic system and thankfully there is like a guide at the very beginning but I still had trouble trying to keep it all in my head. I did really like all of the LGBTQ plus rep that is in this book. Um, it's very diverse. I think overall I'm going to give this one 3 out of 5 stars, maybe like a 3.25. I loved the world building so so much. I think it's just the writing and the magic system that I couldn't wrap my brain around which is really weird to say because I love complex fantasies but I think it all has to do with how the author can explain it and I think that's where it fell short for me. Alrighty so that is it for this vlog. I am so sorry it is so long but you know this shelf organization took a very long time but go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed because it helps me out so so much and go ahead and subscribe because I upload videos every single week. Follow me on Instagram at Holly Hearts Books and on Twitter at Holly Niece and until we meet again happy reading.